how do you implement smart cities in the Indian context, given the kind of procurement guidelines which prevail today? We are still following a system which we inherited, I think, 65 years ago of L1, the lowest is first past the post. Now, this is a procurement system which is anti-innovation, it is anti-technology. Take a simple issue. You can procure three kinds of lights today. I think you had the Thomas Edison kind of bulb, which is the filament, which in India costs about 10 rupees for a 100-watt bulb. You can procure a CFL bulb, which in India costs around 350 rupees, and which will give you about 17 or 18 watts. Or you can procure an LED bulb, which costs around 800 rupees and has a life of 12 to 15 years and costs around, uh, sorry, and around 7.5 to 8 watts. Now, if you had a life cycle cost, nothing would compete with LED. But if you want L1 of the cheapest, there's no way the LED is going to get. I'm, not, this, I'm, I'm deliberately trivializing the issue, but your procurement guidelines, which really don't require majorities in parliament or which house of parliament, etc., which are simple, self-inflicted issues which we have imposed on ourselves as a society and a country, which we need to rectify. The one way of doing it, which I mentioned to the Secretary of Urban Development, you specify in the guidelines which we are now preparing for the smart cities that you want this technology. And that's one way of getting out of it. Otherwise, you know, some of the procurement norms are, as I said, anti-innovation, anti-technology.